This is the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, starting at verse 3. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. The U.S. Federal Reserve Banking System is launching its own cash app called Fed Now. In July, this is a movement towards getting rid of physical money and having digital currency. Shalom, Yashua'ela. Peace, Israel. Call halal yun law. Allah hayanawa abanawa. Yahawa bahasham. Yahawa shai bahasham. Rechaha kodash. I'm the brother Khansa Agadol from the camp province in Babylon. I would like to go on to give double honors to the head elders and apostles of Great Millstone that taught us this truth and real well, being great examples to us younger brothers. And peace, bless, and love, health, and wellness, and all salutations to the whole for light that's scattered abroad across the four winds of the earth that are laboring in this truth with all sincerity. Shalom. Straight to the point, let's get to the lesson. Right now, as you can see on the screen, there's a post that I, that I found on IG, all right? And it reads, it says, let's read it again. It says, the U.S. Federal Reserve Banking System is launching its own cash app called Fed Now in July. This is a movement towards getting rid of physical money and having digital currency, right? Which leads us to that Revelation 13, 15. Lord willing, we grab that, okay? Because they just also, all right, found the, the CEO of uh, Cash App stabbed to death, man. And within the past, I, I want to say since this whole so-called pandemic, the past three years, all right, they found the CEO of, of Square, which is like Cash App, they found him dead. They found the CEO of Forex dead. They found the crypto billionaire dead. And now they just found the CEO of Cash App dead, man. Okay, and there's no new thing done under the sun. Because when you take it back to when the Federal Reserve first initially was um, was brought upon the land of Babylon, all right, it goes back to that movie, Titanic. Okay, and for those of you who don't really know that that was based on a true story, but for those of you who don't really know that true story, all right, I'm gonna give you a little insight on it. That true story really was for those same elites that owns the Federal Reserve, those Rockefellers and the Rothschilds, to kill off those three top banking uh, families that were trying to open up their own reserve, okay? But it wasn't gonna be backed up by no, by no US dollar. It was gonna open up a reserve that was actually gonna be backed up by gold. And this guy Rockefeller and Rothschilds, of course, and at that time, JP Morgan was supposed to be on that same boat, but he wasn't, you see? So now they're knocking off all of these, all of these other form of payments so that why? So that now they could take over, you see, and they can implement their their uh, NWO, which also is going to lead to the Karagma, man. So let's bring back out that pre sub. It's the book of First Thessalonians, chapter five and verse three. It says, "For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape." Right? For when they shall say peace and safety, this is their way of trying to say peace and safety. Why? Because they want you to be able to say, all right, well, look, I'll go to Fed now, okay, because it's a new digital currency and the U.S. dollar is collapsing, okay, but ultimately, little do you know, they're going to be able to track every single thing that you buy, man. So if you're one of those people that like to click in and subscribe to those, those girls' OnlyFans accounts or those private Snapchats, instead of it going directly to them, it's going to go to Fed now, and then they're going to see that you're a little horny little bastard, man. They're gonna see that you that you lust over that sex, like you have that sex demon on you, man. You see, if you like to buy things from Amazon, it's not gonna go straight to Amazon. It's gonna to go to Fed now first. And this is their way to do what? To figure out how much money or how the how the economy spends their money. So then ultimately they're gonna end up like how China is with the yen, where you get incentives on your on your on your digital currency based off of being good Samaritans, based off of how many, you know, all of those things, man. 
if your carbon footprint is is low if you you know don't work you probably only gonna be able to work out so much you know and that's why I went on and said, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. Can a woman escape those contractions when she's having a baby? No, she can't. And that's exactly how the destruction is gonna come upon uh, this, the land of Babylon, okay? Let's grab this. Let's go to Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. It reads, it says, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil is to come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time man right and woe goes into what destruction man misery and that's what's about to be brought upon this land straight destruction and full-blown misery man and this ain't the time to be to be uh still trying to build a career here this is not a time to be to be just lollygagging man it's not a time to be a slothful ass man or even a slothful ass woman. And if you don't know what the word slothful means, it means lazy, okay? It means lazy, predictable, all right? It's, 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 this is not the time for that, man. The devil's about to come down with his great wrath because he knows that he have but a short time. He know his rulership is coming to an end. How do we know that? Go back to Job 5, go to like it, Job 14 and 5. He has an appointed, he has an appointed bounds that he cannot pass, man. He has a bound that he cannot pass. You see? Now let's grab this precept. Let's go to, let's go to Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 7. The instrument also of the churl are evil. He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words. Even when the needy speaketh right, man. Who are the needy? Who is the needy that speaketh right, man? The men that's out here on the highways and byways, but that true, that true is is uh that true goes into a uh, uh, conniving ass man, man, okay? A man that acts like a niggard, and what is a niggard? An ignorant ass man, okay? To be a uh, to, when when you sit up here and you call yourself a nigga, you're basically calling yourself an ig uh, ignorant ass human being, bro. You see? And when you go into the, let's grab that real quick. Let's go. We're just going to pull it up. Let's go to uh, the blue letter. All right. And what it reads, it says for the word uh, true, it says scoundrel or connive. It says in the sense of withholding, niggardly. You see that? Listen, now what we're going to do real quick, bear with me. We're going to go to the Etel online and we're going to grab this word true. We're going to see what the definition is here. Definition is here. It says, peasant, one of the lowest classes of free men without rank, man. You see that? It says without rank, man. Let's grab it. Right. Without rank. And Esau, and that's exactly how Esau is, man. Esau is without rank, man. Okay, he sold his birthright from the beginning. He's an unsculptualist man, which is a man with no, which is a man with, with, with no intentions of doing good. You see? So it says the instruments also of the true are evil, man. This man, this man is, he has chemtrails. You see, he has wicked devices. All right? Scripture says, at least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, man. We ain't ignorant of this man's devices. We know what you're trying to lead up to, Sleazy. We know what you're trying to lead up to. But let's grab this. Let's go to the book of Job, chapter 20, starting at verse 4. It says, Knowing thou this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumph of, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Right, man. The triumph of the wicked is short, man. Esau, Esau and all of your fuck ass uh, uh, unrighteous decrees that you put out, man, and all of these laws, that shit is coming to an end, brother. That shit is coming to an end, and you're about to be full blown out, destroyed, man. And let's continue reading on. Verse 6, it says, Though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach unto the clouds. Right. And how, what is his excellency? Because he has the, his, his, um, his blessing was the modern day sword, man. Okay, and he always make all these wicked ass devices. Why you think he got satellites out there? You see, he's trying so hard to search out the depths of the sea and the depths of the of the heavens. 
But he's not going to be able to, man. He's not going to be able to. Bring it back. Job 20 and 6. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. Damn, man. They which have seen him shall say, where is he, man? So Sleazy E, man, after the Lord comes and destroy this fucking place, you're going to perish like your own dung, man. Like your own shit. You see? You put, you, once you take a poop in the toilet and you flush it down, it's gone, man. And that's exactly what the Lord is about to do to Esau, man. He's about to put his ass in a fucking toilet and flush his ass on, man. And he's going to perish away like his own dung. And when people see him, they shall say, where is he? In the kingdom of heaven, people are going to be like, damn, this the motherfucker that was, that was, that was ruled over me in my captivity, man? Hell no, nah, man. You see? Continue on, it says, he shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yeah, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night, man. Right. He's going to fly away like a dream. He's going to never, ever be again. You see? So the, even though Esau got this old wicked device that's coming to pass, the Lord said what? The Lord said, uh, turn ye at your repute, at your reproof, man, at your correction. You see? So now we're, we're you have brothers out here right now on the highways and byways pushing his word, okay, warning the people, okay, as the scriptures talk about in Joel, it says, blow ye the trumpet in Zion, man, all right, and it, and it says, blow ye the trumpet, man, and that's what we're doing, we're blowing that trumpet, sounding that alarm, letting you know, hey, Sleazy, he about to come down with his great wrath, seek you out by Shimei Hawashai, fast, pray, and repent, and ultimately, continue to do the work, so that you can possibly, how righteous I be saved, man. Okay, and you don't taste death. All right. If you ain't never take, if you ain't never been around uh, uh, thermonuclear fire, you don't want to be around thermonuclear fire because thermonuclear fire. Uh, so like your thermonuclear fire releases off a radioactive uh, smoke, which could cause lungs cancer, which could cause uh, organ failure and all of that, man. So even if you were supposed to survive the thermonuclear fire, if you go outside, you won't be able to last within the first, you won't be able to last, man. After the first 48 hours, you will not be able to last after a thermonuclear blast. And even after the first 48 hours, you still will have to walk around with a mask over your face, man. Continue on. Let's grab this priest up. Let's go to Ezekiel chapter 28 and verse three. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee man and why is that because when you go to psalms 50 when you go to psalms 55 and 21 it says what for his words are smoother than butter man but war was in his heart they shall make their tongue also in psalms it says they shall make their tongue fall upon themselves man slip upon themselves man you see so sleazy e there's nothing that he's gonna everything that he's gonna do he's gonna put it right and plain in sight but people are so caught up in this fucking matrix to a point where they don't even understand or they don't even see or even care to realize what's going on, man. Do you people not understand that the U.S. fucking dollar is collapsing and that this economy is coming to a fucking end? Do you people not understand that? Do you people not understand that the career that you have is not going to be a fucking career within the next couple months, man? Do you not understand that these people are, are trying to track every single movement that you fucking do? with them already doing it with your iPhones, man. You got your Find My iPhone on, you have that location turned on, guess what? They're tracking every movement, man. And on top of that, with the new iOS on your iPhones, they're doing what? They're tracking your carbon footprint, man. So little do you people know, you're sitting up here and you're going through this fucking matrix and this man is literally finding all of his, you got, listen, it's a lock it, man. All right, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to talk about this because these things right here, this stuff right here is rejoiceful on, man, because we know that we are one step closer to World War III. We know we are one step closer to getting the fuck up out of here, man. But we still got, we still have some prophecies left to play out, man. Let's grab this last precept. We're going to end it on that. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come 
it will not tarry. And what is that vision? That vision of this whole week, this whole week, brothers been going in on the uh the Karagma and the US dollar collapsing and World War Three, man. That's that vision. That vision is these prophecies that's coming to pass, man. Okay. Every week, every day, there's something new in prophecy that brothers can do videos on, man. It said, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And what does it mean to tarry? Tarry means to delay, to, to wait. Just because, just because they're sitting up here talking about, oh, the U.S. dollar is going to collapse. You may not think it's going to collapse. Oh, yes, it's going to collapse. They're sitting up here talking about, even Donald Trump came out and said it. And one of the brothers of my camp, the brother Ball Gabar, Shalom, how about you, man? Shot, broke a thumb. All right, go subscribe to that brother page, only the elect 144. Call hello, you, how about you, man? Shot. All right, subscribe to that brother page because he just did a video on how Donald Trump came out and said that we are at World War III, man. And it was just an article that just came up and said that, um, that North Korea, uh, you see, the North Korea, South, one of the Koreas, you know, who's doing the drills with the U.S., all right, the other Korean is saying what? That they know that we are definitely at World War Three, because every time they do their drills, you have Russian spy planes flying over them, man. You have Chinese spy planes flying over them, man, telling them that if y'all don't stop these drills, man, we're going to get right into it, man. So it ain't the time to be playing, man. This ain't the time to be playing. Just know. Just know that that vision, that vision that spoke of in Habakkuk 2 and 3, it is for an appointed time, man. And it will come. Go with in this quick hit was edifying unto you. It was edifying unto you to be edifying unto the sheep and to the elect that scattered abroad across the four winds of the earth. And I'm going to close out and give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. Bahasham, Racha HaKodash, and double honors to the head elders and apostles, great millstone, and taught us his truth, Aaron Ruwell. Shalom.